Welcome. This is Air Technical Industries reversible boom crane model RBC 3000 SPB, a self-propelled mobile floor crane. This model has a 3,000 pounds capacity with the boom retracted and 1,500 pounds with the boom extended. This video will demonstrate some of the overall features of the unit as well as demonstrate the operation of the drive and boom functions. First on the drive unit, you have a drive handle here with a key switch. You have lift controls for only the boom up and down functions, throttle wheels, and emergency reverse red belly switch. This unit also has a battery gauge and hour meter. Is also equipped with the onboard battery charger, optional feature with a 110 volt plug-in. This unit is equipped with the powered boom lift as well as the optional powered telescopic boom option. Other features available are a cable winch option as well as a mass rotation. The optional pendant control station featured here gives you a push button control which is conveniently allows the operator to stand at the end of the boom while he hooks up a load or monitors the movement or the load operation. The drive unit is fully variable with 0 to 4 miles per hour speed control. Uh, creep speed as slow as 1 foot per minute with very smooth acceleration and deceleration. It also has automatic braking, so if the controls are released, the drive comes to a stop and the brakes are applied. These are the overall features of the unit and we'll continue with the demonstration. Alright, so demonstrate some of the features here. You have a key switch on, this enables the drive operation as well as the hydraulic functions. You have the throttle wheels on the handle, on either side of the handle. You have to press very slowly in either direction to begin acceleration. You have a nice creep speed. And that accelerates through uh, a maximum speed. For best results, the operator should very gradually accelerate and decelerate the unit, especially under load to prevent from swinging the load. So that's a very important safety feature. The steering, to steer the easiest, it's best to begin rolling very slowly, moving, and then the handle becomes very easy to turn for steering. You have 90 degree steering, so you have very sharp maneuverability. Emergency belly switch can only be used in emergencies in case the operator drives the unit back into themselves. It'll, it'll blow the horn and very briefly lurch forward to prevent anybody from getting trapped between the unit and a wall, for example. And the lift controls up and down are on the handle. As well as the horn button. Demonstrate some of the boom features. With the optional pending control, you have boom lift. And this one includes also the powered boom extension. can be driven under load as well as extended and retracted under load but it's very important to make sure to not overload the boom as the capacity decreases as the boom is extended.
demonstrates that dead man controls. If there's any problem, release the controls. The unit will decelerate, come to a stop, and the brakes will be applied. The hydraulic controls are also the same. They're momentary. They'll only operate as long as the button is depressed, and they will stop when the button is released. With hydraulic boom functions, you also have, do have the ability to operate two functions at once. Uh, so, for example, we can lower the boom and retract the boom simultaneously. <laughs> Charging functions, disconnect the battery connector, and if it, with the onboard battery charger, it's hardwired into the battery, so you simply plug it into a 110 volt AC single phase power and it'll begin charging.